guys, so I am back with Baby Jacory and I am about to do a video with the baby. So, um, I also wanted to bring up a comment that I received. It wasn't the most pleasant comment, but it did have a lot of truth to it. And, um, so the comment basically said that they used to like my videos, but now it seems like all I do is go on and on about what scope I have and how they are made and you know my opinion and they don't feel that I've been in the community I guess long enough to have an opinion or whatever whatever I guess and um that I barely do anything with my babies anymore in the videos all I do is like leave them still and just show the babies so I took that as constructive uh feedback criticism however you want to look at it um and I'm taking it as a positive because it's funny that they said that because I was starting to look at my videos and say the same thing like they were starting to sound like I thought I knew everything like I was an expert on stuff and I do have my opinions a lot of people from Facebook and YouTube will send me requests and ask me questions and that's why I do those videos and I talk about those things because those are things that people ask me to talk about but I guess you can't please everybody but at the end of the day it does tend to make me come across as trying to be a know-it-all or something like that I don't know um so I do want to get back to my videos of having fun changing the babies and outfits of the day type thing um for sure um because i mean i don't want the channel to become like just a nagging channel all the time so yeah i have been doing some changing videos though um but then i know that i feel like the person that left me the comment it really wasn't coming from a good place though um, because I noticed that they have babies on their videos look like from the person that was putting the rocks in the babies and stuff. So I guess, you know, that kind of set them off because I had never seen comments from them before prior to this. And now all of a sudden they were saying that they used to like my channel, but I've never seen comments from them. So I don't mind when people disagree or, you know, share their opinion with me. Um, I always hope that it's from a good place, but if it's not, I can always take it as a positive. Um, let's put on the shirt first. Yeah, I can always take it as a positive and use that to do better. So that's what I'm going to do. And um, also, I am struggling with my thoughts again. On do I want to downsize a little bit more with my collection um, I know I said I want to keep hammering because of his little scrunchy face and he's a sold-out scope and I can't get him again and etc etc so I'm gonna think on that one for a while and then Yasmin is just such a beautiful baby so I don't know I may just maybe I just need to just stop collecting and don't add and then I'll be okay. Um, with k -San, um if someone wants him, I would probably be willing to, to let him go, but they would have to pay the shipping and know that he is not, he needs work. Um, and, um, yeah, he needs work. His eyes are not I don't think completely sealed in his head, but they don't fall out because um, I gloss them. And he doesn't have a magnet. He does have a custom body, and he was painted by um, Joe Reborns. So he was listed as a biracial. He's more, if I would describe him I would say more Caucasian just so people don't think that they're gonna get a dark baby 
because he's not that dark. Um, but I did already have weighted him and everything. His head is not on. Is why I haven't brought him down, but I guess I could go down and go and get him. At the end, towards the end of the video, if I don't forget, I can go and get him and bring him. So you guys can see what he looks like. And, um, yeah, um, that's pretty much how old Chunka Mug. Mama loves this Chunka baby. I just love looking at his little thighs. But I figured I'd put him on some clothes today. Um, I just keep thinking that I got twins coming. And I don't know where I'm going to put them. I don't want 20 babies in the baby bed. I do have a little bed upstairs. Hmm. Ooh. I could cover the bouncers. Or they can have the bouncer seats. I don't know. But anyway, I do have a little bed upstairs. Other than beside the bed that um, Jamari and Jacora sleeps in. So. Yep. Oh, and the other thing was, I think, said that I don't do as many videos as I used to. And I don't. And, um, I don't as much because the community is so crazy. It's just, I've kind of, like, been pulling away from it. Because it's more negative than positive in the community right now. So, I just kind of don't do as many videos anymore um, I was actually going to leave all together but I decided that I wanted to stay because I have met some wonderful people in the community and I wanted to continue to interact with them so that is why I chose to stay um, but um, yeah, so, and, um, you know, I made a comment on one of my videos about the trolls being out, because people be disliking videos and stuff like that, and I guess that just hyped them up, and, um, it doesn't bother me, honestly, it really don't, not at, at all, um, just because my, um, world don't really revolve around that so that part don't bother me but yeah I was gonna put him on that other outfit that I said that I was gonna put him on that I keep saying I'm gonna put him on and I just never put him on it when I thought this one might be kind of cute on him since he had on big boy clothes the other day I thought these might be cute I don't like to have him on a whole lot of clothes a lot of times. I just like to have him in sleepers because I like my babies to be just very baby. But I think this is kind of cute. It says rabbit. F is for frog. No, S is, F is for friends. <laughs> That's a picture of a frog. Um, there we have it. I need. I still need to find Paris something to wear and change her, but I probably won't do that in the same video, just so the videos don't be too long. I don't know what I'm gonna put her on. When I get him dressed. I am going to get some cleaning done today, so I am not gonna be doing this many videos finally don't have a headache so now I can actually get some stuff done that I need to get done and cook so put some powder on here Put powder on his cheeks. 
So I'm trying to make sure I wipe the excess powder off. The thing about his mouth is open, so it kind of slides right in with really not too much of a problem normally. Here we go. So that is Mr. Decorey. My big chunk of monk. So there you have it. Let's see if you can see him. Yep, you guys can see him. So that is the end of this video. Gosh, it took 10 minutes to do that. See you guys later. Bye-bye.